All right, good morning and happy Friday. I'm Superintendent of Coleman Community Schools, Dave Ehlers. I thought it'd be nice to give you a video update of what's going on. I'm sure your, your reading load has increased as you've been helping your students with their work, and so I'd like to make it easy for you this week. Uh, we're at the end of our first week of our continuous learning plan that was approved by the Barry and Risa. I want to thank you for your patience and your support as we rolled out that plan this week. There were a few kinks as it went out the door on Monday, um, but I think we have everything worked out. We've learned from our mistakes, and I believe it'll be smooth sailing from this point forward. I want to thank our dedicated teachers, administrators, and support staff for putting in some extra time to adapt our face-to-face -face learning model to the remote model that we are now using. Uh, the work that was done has been challenging, required a lot of adapting in a very short amount of time, and is a credit to our staff and their dedication and commitment to our kids. Uh, our kids will be better for the work that our staff has done the last few weeks in the long run. I want to thank our Food Service and Transportation Department for all the work they have done. Since March 16th, there have been 60,000 meals prepared and delivered to the students in Coloma Community Schools. That's not too bad for a, for a 1,250 students district. Um, this week, they, they added delivering K through two learning packets. So another challenge for them, and they did it quite well. Our food deliveries will continue on Monday and Thursday throughout the remainder of the school year. And our pickup point, though, was moved from Coloma Intermediate parking lot to the Coloma High School East parking lot. That's where the football stadium is to accommodate uh, more participants in a more safe manner. And finally, I'd like to thank our small but hardworking and talented technology department for all the work they've done, led by Ben Rimes. They've got devices out to kids, uh, they've delivered them, they've rolled them out, they've trained teachers, they've helped put platforms into place, they've helped put resources into place, they've helped educate parents. They've done a lot of work behind the scenes to make this go very smoothly for our, grade, our third through 12th graders and we appreciate the work that they've done. Uh, next week, our senior parents will get a letter and an email from me uh, with some details on some alternate dates for graduation and plans that we have, we're have, we working on. We're close to finalizing that and it should be out early Monday or Tuesday to you. So look for that in your mail. Um, for those of you that do have internet or connectivity issues at home, our tech department has expanded our coverage, our Wi-Fi coverage in our high school parking lots. Uh, I spent a little time out in the cold the other day mapping that out and I will attach that map to the email with this video so you can know where to park. But you can bring your third through 12th graders in our parking lot and sit and work comfortably from your car. All that we ask is that you maintain social distancing while on our grounds. Uh, we are moving forward with Kindergarten Roundup as a virtual mode. Uh, we have a web page dedicated to this. We want to take some of the stress off our parents who have been waiting to get our stu their students enrolled. Uh, so we move forward with that. We have a welcome video. We have a couple presentations done by the building principal and the staff. We have everything you need to know and need to be able to do to, to enroll your student in kindergarten at Coloma Community Schools on that page. I will include that link in the email with this video as well. Feel free to share that with anyone. We are opening our school of choice window, uh, so we will be accepting from outside of our, our district as well. We will get that out on social media. And again, please help share and spread the word uh, as we've lost our opportunity for our face-to-face -face for now. We do hope to later this summer to maybe bring everybody in for, for a face-to-face -face kindergarten roundup. But if we don't, we feel we've, we've got the best information available for you uh, on our site. Now there's still many details like how do we get stuff back to kids? How do we collect, get return fees? How do we get things back to us? We're still working on those details. Um, so be patient and look for information coming from your building principals in the coming weeks on how to facilitate that. Thank you again for all you've done to support Coloma Community Schools in this transition. Uh, we'll get through this together and we will be better for it as a community and as a school district. Stay safe, healthy, and positive, and go Comets. Thank you.